Hello friends, Stepper Driver here, and welcome to another PTCGO decklist and match. So, what are we going over today? We are going over our two Lucario's that we opened up the other day. We threw it together in a deck, uh, it's loosely based off of a deck I already had. I already had like a buzzhole list, but it was like a little off. It wasn't a good buzzhole list, but I threw Lucario in, tested it out, and it seems to be doing about 50%. I'm sure there's little tweaks here and there that I can really up the uh, the game of this deck, but uh, I think this is a great starting point to be able to start playing. Um, I think I know the count, so we'll just go through everything. So, of course, we're playing two Lucarios. That Aura Strike is the main attack we're going to be trying. It's kind of, uh, it works really well in, in tandem with the Buzzhole uh, GX, who is clearly... One of the best cards in the format right now. Um, I would say this is a budget build. Um, and it was pretty budget for me because I was able to like just get all these cards. But that doesn't mean it is a budget build. I know buzz holes are pretty expensive. And I do have one Tapu Lele in there. So it's like the combination of that makes it a little more not so budget friendly. But I think there is a budget version of this that could work pretty well. Um... Obviously, I, I, I even thought that this is more more budget-friendly than Zoroark Lucario, but considering the promo for Zoroark is easier to get than the bu than the Buzzhole promo, so it's, it's kind of like, well, I guess this is not as budget-friendly as I would hope. I still think it's pretty budget, though. But Lucario is the main guy we're trying out today with Aura Strike. When it's evolved from Riolu during this turn, this attack does 90 more damage, so it's 120 for one energy. And we have damage boosters. We have four strong energy to boost it up to 140. A Regirock to boost that up to 150. Choice Bands to boost that up to 180. And Professor Kakui's to boost that up to 200. So we're able to use Lucario with one energy to boost stuff all the way up to 200 damage. Um... And I know a lot of things have 210, but uh, I'm pretty sure we're trying to take out, you know, Luc uh, Zoroarks we can take out in one thing. Uh, we're trying to be able to take out uh, Lycan Rocks, which are at 200 HP, Evolutions, which are at 200 HP, um, and then anything that's really higher than that, we're hoping that we can hit them with a, a Buzz Hole first with that one energy uh, Jet Punch to be able to uh, push it in two directions. So let's go over what we have here. We have we have the Swole. You even lift, bro. Uh, we have Buzzhole GX with 190 HP. Ultra Beast, uh, Jet Punch does 30 damage to your opponent's bench and 30 damage to the active. Knuckle Impact, we won't really be using that too often. Getting three energies on this is not super easy. So we usually just use Jet Punch until we can come in with Lucario and clean up for one energy. So we're kind of based around, you know, that one energy attachment attack. So I I, I kind of used my uh, my old Crabromital list and then added to it to be able to do this. And Absorption GX would be nice to use, but getting three fighting on Buzzhole early is just not so easily. We don't really play Max Elixirs. I do believe Lucario could be easily plugged into the Lycanroc Buzzhole. <clears throat> over Lycanroc, but I have not tested that out. I think I may have copied the list and tried it, tried to copy it, but I haven't tested it at all. So we have two buzz holes. Um, I would like to have a third, and I think in my IRL deck I do, uh, but they're just, uh, I only had two on the online, so I only, I'm only using two. Uh, we have one Regirock. Um, I started this deck off with having three Regirocks, but after a little bit of research and some other things I've uh, and some testing, I found that one Regirock it works pretty well. It gets that 120 damage to 130, so any basics that are uh, giving you issues, you know, Volcanion or Stage Twos like uh, what's his face, uh, Greninja. 
Uh, it has 130 HP as well. A lot of good basics have 130 HP, so Regirock gives uh, Aura Strike just that little bit more damage to be able to take it out. Also, if you have a strong energy on your Buzzhole and have a Regirock down, you're doing a solid 60 damage, which knocks out most basics that evolve. So that's what Regirock is here for. Just that little bit of boost. Obviously, in the future, this card would probably be replaced by the prism star one because it only gives away one prize and two because it boosts damage better um, but for now we're using reggie rock because we can actually pull it out with brooklet hill we have a, a split of riolus the reason why is because i was when i was testing i was facing up against a hoopa deck and this riolu can't do crap to hoopa everything else is a gx so hoopa really just stalls us out so i discovered that this riolu you can put a strong energy on the you can put a strong energy on them and another energy and let me think what that does 30 plus 20 is 50 60 yeah that's what you need so what you need is a strong energy another energy and then a reggie rock on the bench and low kick can knock out a hoopa in one hit that's that's the boosting damage that we thought about with the one running on the beach so that's why we play one of this one and one of that one uh, we got Lucario GX, the star. We're also mixing it up here. Um, I didn't originally have him on there. Uh, I think because because I have one less buzz hole, I threw in our left in Zerkatree. Zerkatree, that flashing head ability, can just help you stall when you're struggling a little bit. So if I end up dead drawing, which I have before, this deck used to also have three Ace Arolas in it. I removed one because I've had it before where I have three Ace Arolas, a Guzma, and no draw support, and just got rolled over by a ho -Oh. so i threw zirkatry in here uh changed one of the fighting energies to a rainbow and so we're going to see how this works out because we could flashing head keep things with special energy from attacking us and then lightning gx is also not a bad option you can add a card from their hand to the thing to their prize cards just to give you that little extra time to be able to take them out one top of lele just for that wonder tag ability we have i believe a bridget or two to be able to uh keep us going but we also are able to use it for our guzmas and stuff like that uh one one remorade octillery just that abyssal hand um is so useful sometimes so we like being able to draw into the cards we need which is our super scoop ups our ace our rollers our de-evolution spray to be able to reset our lucario so that's why we have artillery and artillery works well because we're playing brooklet hill so we always get that remorade down pretty early de-evolution spray we get three or one of these in here so we can de-evolve like i said this used to be an ace Arola, but i'm going to try it out with one devo spray two, uh, two super scoop ups and two ace Arolas. uh those counts um so basically i'm putting one two three four five five cards towards resetting lucario um so it, in any combination of those those three cards kind of is what i'm trying to use those five cards for obviously i could probably squeeze in more somewhere but i just don't know where we're playing one field blower just in case no we're playing two actually we're playing two field blowers just in case we end up running into that issue with um i don't know garbodors which is not really going to affect us too much we only have two abilities we have uh just uh, items we don't want them to use are stadiums. Like, really a big one is that Parallel City. If that's used against us, we can't bench as much as we want. Uh, so, we have, you know, two Field Blowers and two Brooklyn Hills to try to change that around. And then Parallel City, somebody else, is just so brutal. So, that's why we play one Parallel City. Uh, two Max Potions, which is probably where most people are going to be putting the other Super Scoop Ups and stuff. But I kind of like Max Potion a lot, especially with Buzzhole, because Buzzhole's a big basic. And if they can't knock him out in one hit, you know, you just Max Potion, put another energy on, and go to town again. And they are like, damn it. <laughs> so <coughs> that's why we keep two Max Potions. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> Start choking. My bad. Uh, we also play two PayPal's. 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 Pal Pads. Uh, because, no, we play one pal pad here, and this is able to, you know, search our discard pile and get a couple of, uh, supporters back into our deck. We use this for Ace Arola, Cynthia's, any draw support, stuff like that. We got a rescue stretcher, we got two of them actually, be able to pull those Lucarios back out. We only have two, so we want to have rescue stretcher be able to pull it straight from the discard and start attacking right again. Or shuffle them back when we are 
low on resources. We have one special charge. Shuffle two special energies. This is for those strong energies, and we actually threw a rainbow in there too, so it could be used for that. We really want to use strong over anything else, so we try to keep the strong energy available to us. We had two super scoop ups. I got the old school art form of it with the Roserade in here, so I thought that was pretty sweet when I pulled those out of some old uh, packs. So now they're my new standard. We have four Ultra Balls, pretty standard of everything. Uh, two Brooklyn Hills, one Parallel City, we know what they do. Two Ace Arolas, two Bridgets. Let me just double check that number. Two Bridgets, we don't want to have one prize and not be able to use them. So we got two Bridgets in here. We got three Cynthia's for that general draw support. One Gladion in case... Um, this is primarily for like Octillery if it gets prized or Regirock because we those are kind of one ofs in the deck So we want to be able to access them from our prize cards if uh, They're stuck there and then full art Gladion is just a super cool card. I love the the shattered blue and red behind them So it's just really awesome to have this card. So we had a couple of Guzmas. I believe um, I'm gonna minimize this because I want to see how many Guzmas specifically we have um, I like showing the whole list, but I like to go in three Guzmas. That's right three Guzmas We want to be able to pick off the exact three prizes we want to take So if they keep playing Lele's and Zoroark's we want to be able to grab those specific things off the bench and take them out in one hit um, Which is what Lucario is known for being able to take out those two specific Pokemon in one hit That's what you want and that's what you get. So we also play one end just for extra draw support. That might that might be able to be a Cynthia, but what we're hoping for is if we get behind and can kind of save us and um, help us get caught back up by disrupting our opponent just a little bit. We play one Ninja Boy. That might be weird for most people, but this is, this has two uses for me. That is, if uh, we start Regirock. And he's stuck in the active, or at any point he gets Guzmud into the active so that they can try to stall for a turn. We can find our ninja boy and replace him with something that can attack. Or, if we have a Lele down on the bench, we can ninja boy it right into that Regirock for that extra damage, which is what my primary liking of this card is for. Um, we play Kukui, we play two of them, uh, because... Uh, they, these originally were probably Regirocks, and I switched them out to be Kukui's because this does 20 damage, while Regirock does uh, 10 damage. It just helps because, I mean, you're only really taking out... I mean, you're only trying to... You only need that 20 damage like once or twice. You're trying to get that knockout, so that's the primary thing. Is if, if, a, if a Lycanroc's in front of you and uh, you can have the ability to Kukui or Guzma, you can possibly Kukui and get that knockout over the other thing. And because Lycanroc can really punish you with that dangerous rogue. We have Sycamore here. We have three of those, so there's a general draw support. Make sure we have the cards we need when we need them. Um, good early game to be able to pull out exactly what you need. We have two choice bands. Three would be nice, but not necessary. Two of them work out just fine. Um, and we also have uh, two float stones. These are primarily for Octillery and Regirock. Um, what I found as I'm starting to get better at this game is I really don't even put down a float stone unless something gets brought up into the active. Um, that way they think they're stalling you and then you just float stone and pull it back. Like I really don't even use float stone unless it is stuck in the active. And energy count. There we go. Four, four, one. That's my energy count. So a little low on the energy. Um, honestly, I could probably a car bank would not be bad in this deck, um, but I just didn't find the space for it. So that is the deck. Uh, I've tested it pretty extensively, but it's not not perfect. Um, so I can end it. Buzz Luke Swole. I don't know. So. Uh, I don't know what we should lift. I our lift. I don't know what we should uh, call this a um, a lifting duo. No, I don't know. Uh, fight or flight? I guess I don't know. I don't know good deck names. But I actually thought about trying to start something where we come up with the deck names and then uh, decide what's in it. Like a good example of that would be the uh, Chew Lift Bro. Like. Chew as in like Raichu, so it'd be a Raichu, uh, it'd be a Raichu, uh, Buzzhole deck, which would be kind of funny. Um, 
Let's take this to the versus ladder and let's see how this deck plays out. Wow, 15 minutes already. Fight or flight, as you can see, I've been playing it. It's almost got me to a magna zone, almost to a computer search. So, let's see how we do today with this. I've had a bit of a losing streak the last time I really got into this. That's why I've made a few of those changes, like I said, through that circuitry in and stuff like that. Um, I think last time I played it, I literally got stuck with a buzz hole with one energy, could not find any other energies, and uh, pulled three Lucarios, three Acerolas. I pulled Berkeley Hill, so I was able to get the three, the three um, uh, Riolus down, but so I decided to change it. Okay, let's see. Might only play one match. I want to keep this kind of short and get it uploaded. It is going to be a late upload as it's a little late. Po Town, Dark Energy, Guzzlord, Nest Ball. Maybe it's Guzzlord. Dark Electric. We're going to draw a card because that's better. Murkrow and an electric one. So Tapu Koko, Murkrow, probably. Okay, let's just go ahead and. Go in with Parallel City. We can Ultra Ball. What's something we can get back? We're definitely going to Ultra Ball. we got to get rid of the Kakui. All the Kakui is. Draw Support. It's uh, another card we can get rid of. Honestly, I want to have access to that Lucario. So we're gonna probably do that. Go aggro buzzhole. Yeah, I think buzzhole is gonna really kind of do the work in this one. So we're gonna do yeah, throw the fighting energy on him and then just end. Can't attack first turn, so there's no point in putting him in the active. They got the float stone on the Murkrow. An N, that's okay with me. I only have three cards. Yeah, I was trying to think, like, what, what would be preferable to have access to with that uh, rescue stretcher? Would it be Lucario or Octillery? And I decided it would be Lucario. And my opponent decided, I don't want to play this game anymore. Uh, so let's go into another match. Sorry to waste time. Uh, I don't really edit these, so I can't really just cut that out. But I got some more coins. Tapu Lele. Yeah, this is what takes some time sometimes, is just like the over and over, hey, you got these cards now. Oh, it's so slow, it can't even see it. Alright, I'm kind of glad it didn't show me this magnet stone, I don't really need to see it. Okay, fight or flight, fight or flight, fight or flight. Clearly, our opponent chose flight, so let's hope this one chooses fight. A Garchomp. Now, Garchomp really, like, destroyed me the other day when I was playing this deck, too. He just got set up, and I was just like, I missed the knockout by that 20 damage because I didn't have Kakui on me that day. And I was like, ah. Oh. So, I ended up changing. Um, the Zerga Tree could also be a Dawn Wings Necrozma. That might not be a bad option for it. If uh, you put a Dawn Wings in this, then... You can kind of uh, retreat freely when there's not a Garbodor out. Aether, Paradise Conservation Area. It's the longest name ever. No, but I like these cards. That's fine, and N is never a bad thing, especially on the first turn. That means your opponent did not get exactly what they were looking for, but they got something. So we can probably... How did he take... Oh, Rainbow Energy. Is that a Kingdra? That's a Kingdra, man. I haven't seen anybody use Kingdra in a while. So he expects to get that lightning energy on there. Okay then. Uh, should we field blower or not? That's the question that I don't have an answer for. Let's go ahead and toss the field blower. And a fighting energy while we're at it. Uh, and let's see what we have. We have Tapu Lele. And we have... Bridget, that's really all I want to start with. I want to see what my opponent can do with that. If I get set up. Um, go ahead and throw Tapu Lele down. 
uh, get a, a Bridget and set up our bench to be able to just go ham next turn. Let's go ahead and that. Let's go Riolu down, a Riolu down, and a Buzz Hole down. Let's go with Rainbow though. So we have all of our Riolus, and we're ready to just start going. Going at it. Uh, da, 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 da. We're gonna go with <laughs> this one. Max Elixir on the Kingdra. So this is Zoroark Kingdra uh, with Volpix to set up, I guess. I don't know what this deck is. So this might not be a valid showing but we'll see how it works right now kingdra can't even attack us because it has a special energy on it and that mixed with the uh there goes a max potion he should have totally oh, no he couldn't i guess because it would take off 10 damage and get rid of the energy another flight could not figure out how to get the Alolan Vulpix out of the active. I would really like to show off this deck, everyone. I would really like to. I wonder what everyone's... Why is everyone, like, just... Nope, I can't play. Like, play it out. See what happens. You Just because you get a bad start. Unless that's all you're doing. You're testing out your start and seeing if your start's good. And when your start's bad, you get frustrated and change the whole deck and it works even worse <laughs> all right so let's see if we can go 3-0 with this deck <laughs> from forfeits now i'm probably gonna do this until we get a match at least um of course they're gonna make me start with a mulligan so that i give my opponent an extra card everyone's playing dark though everyone's playing dark so why not play fighting that's my idea. Why not play the fighting? If they're going to play dark, then I'm going to play fighting and just beat them up. Okay, this opponent is either really thinking hard or just like, oh, i got to make a decision. How about this? Yep, let's get a new hand. I don't like that one. That one I can deal with. I can start with Buzzhaw. Let's go ahead and put Remoraid. I almost called him Reginald. I don't know why I called him Reginald. But maybe Remoraid's name is Reginald. If you name your Remoraid Reginald when you play the games, let me know. <laughs> Type Null. Who is this that Silvalli Zorark? I wonder. There's a dark energy on it. Oh no, run away. Darkness. Darkness is scary. So I might just attach and pass this turn. Yeah. Attach. Throw a trace band down. Why not? And jet punch. Might as well. Does 60 damage. Wow. If I would have been able. I guess I probably should have ended there. If I would have ended there and got the... Reggie Rock, <laughs> strong energy. That would have been kind of crazy, but I'm going for the long game in this one, so maybe that's my first mistake. But that's okay. Enhanced ammo. Oh no, that's okay. I have no worry that I'm going to get the right cards on the next turn. Cynthia, are you going to be able to evolve it, or is it knocked out? And does he get a card? Does he get a second card? Because if he doesn't, he did not get a second one. Oh my. So, we're going to go right into this. Go ahead and get rid of two cards. Go ahead and set up this guy. Um, let's Octillery first. 
We do not get what we're looking for. And he has six cards already. Let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah, we'll want that later. And we want to clear the deck a little bit, so... Let's put that in there. Go ahead and... Ultra Ball. I'm gonna say the N and the Kakui. Even though Kakui would be nice. Uh, we'll grab Riolu. I do want to set up Riolu, so in case this game lasts longer than this turn. Strong energy! Jet punch! Oh, that one did 120. That one just flat knocked it out. I guess I just needed an energy at that point, not strong. Yikes. Um, so that's the power of Buzz Hall, but that doesn't show off Lucario at all. So this is going to be a long video. And a late video. It's going to go up like super late at night. I should have just like streamed it. But the only one can stream it is uh, the program I have that actually works is what mixer.com which i don't even know what it is i have to do some more research on it but maybe i'll try to stream ptcgo on it eventually who am i facing cardi 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 me is that what it says <laughs> oh no we're starting with the remoraid it's okay it's okay we have the bridget to be able to pull out the buzz hole we can super scoop up that remoraid Oh, of course, of course. He is going to see some salt. Some salt. We got 3-0 and off forfeits. Now we're going to get some saltiness because of it's because it's Greninja. That's, that's, that's really the only way to say it. It's, it's Greninja, so we're going to be a little salt. Um, Zergatry could be cool because I could put in... No, it's mostly... We'll do it this way. We'll do it this way. Buzz hole, Riolu Riolu. Um, we can super scoop up, and uh, that's about it. all we could do. We don't really need an energy this turn though, so maybe we do super scoop up, pick up that Rimmeraid, and make it where they cannot. Ooh, or do I want to? They're not going to knock me out. They're not even going to attack me next turn. So let's throw out. The Riolu. Put the Remoraid back down. And we could Ultra Ball, but we don't really need anything just yet, so we're going to hold on to it. I should have searched my deck when I did the Bridget to make sure I had everything, but I'm pretty sure I had re I had the Regirock. I just don't know what trainers I'm missing. I, I forget to check that, but... I like to be surprised when I pick up a prize, <laughs> instead of know exactly what's there. I also have Gladion, I can just see what's there. Water the Luplicates. The Luplicates. So he's got his three Frogadier now. This is where I wish I would have kept the Kartana. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and... I don't have energy. Go ahead and throw down the Octillery. I could, I could Guzma, but I really want to get rid of that energy. Okay, Gladion or N? Gladion or N? I think I'm gonna Gladion. We'll just see what's what's in here. Oh, that's actually what I want. A, there's Lucario and a strong energy in here, and there's also a Brooklet Hill. Um, which could be nice. I'll need that Brooklet Hill later, though. Or should I Brooklet Hill now? That Strong Energy looks nice, though. I think Strong Energy, because I have a Ultra Ball to be able to grab the Lucario. So we're going to grab that Strong Energy. That's pretty useful to us. Go ahead and play it. And in case we do not get the... I'm going to keep the Guzma, actually. 
Grab that Lucario. Play it. Go ahead. I need more cards. Artillery. <laughs> we got it both anyways. Let's do this. What? I was like, why didn't it do anything? <laughs> why didn't it do anything? Throw that other buzzle down just because we can. And Aura Strike for... 140 damage. We got our Lele! We got our Lele. So we can search for anything we need now. Make sure if he evolves into a Greninja, take it out. Enhanced Hammer. That's fine. That's really fine. A Cynthia. So we're going to have to slowly take six prizes against this Greninja. There's that Evo Soda. They got a Greninja on the bench. So we're going to go ahead and Guzma that out. Which sucks because our other Lucario is in the, uh, the prize cards. We did not get a uh, Float Stone yet either. There's a Greninja. So that's a double Greninjas. We want to make sure... I wish we could take out both. Right now. Right now I want to take out both of them. Yeah, we got the Ace Arola. That's fine with me. This is why you play Ace. Go ahead and put that Riolu up there. Throw the other one down. Why not? Evolve into Lucario and cannot abysmal hand because of the attack he used. 140 damage due to the strong energy and we got our other Lucario. So now we don't have to rely on top decking the perfect card, which was Acerola in that one. There's a Brooklet Hill. Now we can pull off our uh, pull off our Regirock. Unless we want to leave the space open for that Lele. Uh, we'll see what we need in a second. There's a shadow stitching. I uh, wish we could get rid of that. Get rid of that. Um. Hmm. <laughs> What's the play here? I would love to just, like, Guzma up something else. Uh... Considering this Greninja has free retreat. Um, hmm. What to do? And I also know that if I take out Staryu, it's it's a done deal with uh, something else. But if I... I don't have any abilities right now, so I almost have to... I almost have to Cynthia here. Regirock wouldn't do anything anyways right now. Um, and it's, uh, it's only no abilities during my turn. So Zerker Tree could be good here right now. I do not want a Regirock out. I think I'm going to leave that space for, for my uh, Lele in case there's a turn when I do have access to abilities. Um, it's a Max Potion. Doesn't really help me right here. And an Ultra Ball, which doesn't really help me right here. Um, but I can Continker his Beating, which is also not worth it right now. Um, 80, 60, so 140. He would need a Choice Ban. He can possibly knock me out next turn. He can possibly knock me out next turn. So that's one thing to think about. Otherwise, I think I want to get this thing set up so I can just like... Okay, well, here was this. I'm going to do this. Which may be a bad idea, may not. Uh, but the reason why is because he cannot get a Greninja break this next turn. He does not have another Greninja set up. Uh, so he cannot get a Greninja break. 
that's that's my thinking behind it is that okay well he's gonna have another frogadier up but he's not gonna have uh two greninjas up and that that's what my thinking was on that one he has two star use so that might be impossible to get rid of uh, our brooklyn hills are useless so you guys gave me an extra card you're gonna have to shadow stitch otherwise i'll be in the driver's seat enhanced hammer no dang it dang it dang it dang it dang it dang it needed that card on there choice band shadow stitching 70 70 damage we did get a second fighting energy i may start utilizing that with a buzz hole oh i could just need a strong energy unfortunately no abilities see this is where this would work um, but it's not going to because uh, it's not going to because I don't have the strong energy I needed the strong energy or a Reggie Rock that works, so that's what it kind of helped them out there, having that ability block, because it prevented me from getting that Reggie Rock. Now this next turn, though, I believe he's gonna probably try to get his break here. Yeah, for sure, break. So they can giant water shark in the one in the back, and then I think he's gonna try to retreat into the other frogadier. Oh, he's... what? Why wouldn't he go after the one in the back? Seriously. Not sure what that was about. But yeah, choice bands are useless in this matchup, and Brooklet Hill right now is useless in this matchup. And we already lost our Parallel City. Enhanced Hammer really helps Greninja sometimes, wow. So like I said, I like I'm up by three prizes, but you're about to see me get salty. He didn't get the Greninja? But you'd have the double Greninja. Shadow Stitching, he wants to keep my abilities off here. We're gonna probably field blower. Get rid of those things. Uh how much do you have? You have fifty? Of course you have fifty, you jerk. Um, I do not have a way to retreat right now. I'm gonna get rid of that. It doesn't matter with Brooklet. I'm gonna get rid of the two choice bands. I can't get those back. Um, looks like we're gonna lose this Lucario, but we have the other Lucario. So this is kind of problematic. But there's not much we can do about it. You gotta take out Greninja Break, otherwise they're just stuck. If he has an Acerola, I'm just kind of screwed. He don't has an a he does not have an Acerola, but I think he's going to have to. He's gonna take out the front Lucario. Yeah, he's gonna take out that front Lucario, which is a bad play in my opinion. He should have. Uh... Yeah, he should have uh, taken out the uh... the 60 on the back one. And then he would have been able to hit this one for, I think, oh no, yeah, I guess the shadow stitching would not have worked for him. So he had to hit the energy there and he's just going to try to attack it for either shadow stitching so he can keep blocking those abilities. Yeah. Shadow stitching the abilities. He's got that special energy. He knows that's like my weakness right now is that I have no special energy like blockage. I don't think I have something, but I can look. What do I have right now that can help me? That special energy is really like annoying me. I wish I had a way to like just take it out, but I don't. Um, we only have five energies left, which is kind of sucks. 
So we're going to wait until one more thing goes down to be able to use that. Unfortunately, he's going to have his Greninja this next turn. And that sucks, because um, he can do 80 damage. Shut up. Stop yelling at me. Uh, so that, that really sucked. We really needed another fighting energy there, so we could have threw it on to... So we could have threw it on to Buzzhole. Yeah, you got double Greninja there. That That's what's going to hurt us. This is double Greninja play here. He's going to keep rotating them now with these splash energies. And I think he still has... That's his last one. So we need to get rid of this last one. And then we can start taking down Greninja. But... What we really need to do is probably need to get Buzzle out, take out those things in the back. Right now we're in a big problem. We might need, uh, I need to use like two different cards this next turn. I need to use, uh, I need to use Buzzhole to battle, but I also need to use like a Guzma so I'm not attacking the main Greninja. But he has that up. He has a break and two water energies. So also an end would help me right here. Ultra Ball. Does not help me. Um, I could Ultra Ball grab a circuitry and just sit behind it. That might not be a bad idea. No, I don't want to do that, actually. Dang it. Yeah, okay, let's do... Let's go after that one, though. We're going to Lele until he does not have abilities. He's going to say, what was that misplay? Yeah, it was probably a misplay, but... I'm going to bring out... Take our Lucario off the board. Go ahead and put a Riolu back down there. The fighting energy on Buzzle and go ahead and jet punch and try to take out uh, this back uh, Star You. He does not have that set up to evolve, so it's an extra prize. And uh, which is what we're going to try right now. We're just going to try to prize deny him and uh, take out these smaller things in the background. I do not want to be taking out this Greninja Brick, I want to take something out in the back to be able to uh, win this one. Greninja, salt. The two are hand in hand. Greninja equals salt. Greninja equals salt. It's as simple as that. Can we take this out once we get a strong energy? Yes, we can. So once we get a strong energy, we can take out that Greninja, but I know for right now, I'm just trying to take out the Staryu. He's gonna double up on that. Does he have 120 plus 80 is 200? Did he seriously just get that knockout on me? That sucks. Oh, but I get my abilities back for a turn. But I get my abilities back for a turn. And it's the question of whether or not that was worth it for him to give me back my abilities for a turn by taking that knockout. Ah, this is so close. This is so close. He's going to see me get salt. He's going to see me get salt. So he was able to take it out. That's important to note, I guess. Is that he took it out. He did take it out. Um, but I have access to, like, everything now, right? Yeah, I have access to everything now. Uh, so the question is what to do, right? What to do... Um, I might... I still think I want to attack this with Buzzhole, though. So let's go ahead and Abysmal Hand, see what we get with those two cards. We get a Sycamore, we get a Strong Energy. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, and we can even play Lele and not use the Sycamore. Grab a Cynthia instead, or a Ninja Boy. We could use Ninja Boy here. 
what does Ninja Boy do? Grab his circuitry. I'm grab Cynthia instead. Although I needed a Guzma there. Why didn't I Guzma? Okay, never mind, never mind. Let's go ahead and super scoop up, see if we can get our Lele back. And then Cynthia it away. Circuitry, not a bad idea. Uh, I was going to throw a Trace Band down, but I don't need to. But we can definitely feel blower the, uh, the big stadium away, the big bad stadium. Anything else I can kind of do? I can throw Zergatry down, but it doesn't do me much good. And I would love to throw a Choice Band. I wish I had a uh, Fighting Fury Belt, though. Um, I could do this. Wish I could just re-evolve it, but I can't. Uh... Jet Punch and take out the Staryu. And hope he does not have the ability to take out my last card. Which he probably does. What I probably should have did was, uh... Throw Zergatry up there? I don't know. I don't know, there's no, no solution. This is Greninja at its best, you know. Truth be told. Uh, they did have some misplays early on. But, I think they're going to take this out. Um, I'm just going to show the salt face, I guess, is the best thing. Um, just say, woo, that was close. But salt, 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 salt. I hate playing Greninja. And uh, this thing is going to win right there. Right there! So you got to keep them you know, below having two Greninjas out. You can't have them. They can't have two Greninjas out. Which is why I wanted to have that that energy, that one energy miss was was really all that happened. Uh, I think that was a pretty standard Greninja break. Uh, but we did more damage. We had more big attacks. But that 60 snipe just kills you. I needed to take out both of those Staryus. Um, I recognize the issues, but I just was not able to capitalize. So if you guys want to try that out, go ahead try out Fight or Flight. And that time I had to flight, but you know, what happens. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. This has been Dapper Drabby. And actually, let me see, is there any packs I want to open? Maybe I can open up a pack of cards here. Ancient Origins, Breakthrough, uh, newest to oldest. We have an Ultra Prism. We're gonna open up a Ultra Prism because we somehow got one. Don't know how, don't know how. We're open up an Ultra Prism. Hopefully I did not waste too much of you guys' time. Uh, you can see the deck can win when doing well, and it can lose when you uh, does not do well. So thank you so much for stopping by. This has been Dapper Drevy. I'll bid you guys Alola, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.